The Independence Truman Courthouse will remain closed again for at least tomorrow. That's the latest from Jackson County Administrator Troy Schulte. Fox Force Jonathan Katz live downtown tonight in Kansas City as some county departments. John remained crippled by that ransomware attack. That is correct, John, and Troy Schulte does not want people lining up at the Independence Courthouse like they did this morning. He made the announcement up on floor two inside of the Jackson County Courthouse downtown today. He does not know whether the Independence Courthouse will be open on Wednesday either. We're making good progress on uh, the restoration efforts. We've started system recovery, those types of issues. This was the first meeting since the ransomware attack on Tuesday, April 2nd. Jackson County Director of Assessment Gail McCann Beatty says her staff's gone from 13 to 21 people with the newest eight people in training. The training is now interrupted. Uh, the IT took about six of our computers, uh, so hopefully we'll have those back by the time. Um, we are able to start back up. McCann Beatty says people are showing up at the courthouse at four or five o'clock in the morning, but they're closed because of the attack. You should not go to the historic Truman Courthouse on Tuesday. This was also the first meeting since Jackson County voters rejected a sales tax for the Chiefs and the Royals as their current leases end after the 2030 seasons. Listen to what Jackson County legislator Manny Abarca, who supported the tax, said to Jackson County Executive Frank White, who did not. What is our strategy going forward to maintain both the Chiefs and the Royals in Jackson County? Well, you're advocating for them to go to Kansas, so I, I don't know if that's a good strategy or not mm -hmm. as for an elected official in Missouri to have. But um, my, 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 my goal is to, is to reach out to the teams and see if I can get them back to the table so we can try to move this thing forward. Schulte says a Russian group was the one who caused the ransomware attack, also saying that a corrections worker in Jackson County was the one who clicked on the suspicious link. John, Jonathan Ketz live downtown. John, thanks. The cost of